Deputy Speaker, and today I rise to put on my record my support for all of the people in Lindsay. It is a privilege and a very, very, very humble um, duty that I have to serve my community. The people of Lindsay are hardworking and decent and honest people, and I say that at every opportunity. What they don't want to see, Madam Deputy Speaker, is their hard-earned taxes squandered, and that's exactly what they see when they look at the Turnbull government spending $122 million on a sham postal survey. It is exactly what they see when they look at cuts to penalty rates, and it is exactly what they see when they see promises not kept to ensuring that services are provided in our community. Wages are not rising, but the state and federal coalition governments are ensuring that the cost of living does. $77 a week in cuts to penalty rates, 20 per cent rise in electricity prices in New South Wales and $9 a day in new taxes for people of Western Sydney, and no funding whatsoever to help the hard-working nurses and doctors at the most under-pressure hospital in New South Wales, the Nepean. When will the Liberals who are running this and New South Wales fix this? There are a couple in here now, and I ask them. And now we have a postal survey, Madam Deputy Speaker, that we don't need to have. $122 million spent on something that we could deal with right now. While the Turnbull government is bereft of ideas and paralysed in thought because they can't follow the laws of the Constitution dated 1901, or well, they think they're just above the law, and I'll take that interjection Order. as, well, Order. maybe you I should have come to hear. the power of speech and come to the breakfast this morning and supported those kids Order. living with hearing loss, because being, being unable to hear is Order. actually a problem. Order. 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 Well, they think that they are just above the law. The people of Lindsay are offering them some fresh inspiration. $122 million could go a long way, and my constituents offer some free advice to those opposite. Overwhelmingly, they want $122 million spent on health, education, domestic violence resources and disability services, and affordable housing wouldn't go astray either. $122 million could buy 175 houses for families in Penrith. Cassandra Way, Shallow Mal, Beck Bailey wanted funds for teachers and nurses. More teachers would be a great idea, and $122 million would provide 1,906 New South Wales public teachers on an average salary of $64,000. Sharon Carter and Katie Fay supported more funds for specialised teachers and assistance for children with disabilities. $122 million could go a long way to establishing and servicing the needs of the women's community shelters required. People like Sharon Levy, Beck Jarrett and Natalie Felvey would agree, who are heading up my amazing committee right now. But do you know what else they also say, Madam Deputy Speaker? They say, how about politicians who are paid very, very well, I might add, get on and do the job that they are actually paid to do, respect the constitution and respect the job and the position they hold and just let our free vote pass this parliament.